getting ready to run this uh, 10K here in Williamsburg. It's a small little town in Indiana. Just preparation for the uh, half marathon I'm running. All over halfway through the six mile run up on one mile left. And I'm about to let loose. I've got a tenth of a mile on this last, this mile five. So this last mile, mile six, watch out. Whew. Those of you who recognize it, this is the Greenway about an hour south from my house. So like I said a long time ago, this trail runs about the length of the state of Indiana and this is the same trail that I do my training runs on and my training is normally six to ten mile runs so six is my bottom line but I never run six this fast it's a race and so I'm doing a little better than my normal training runs oh, but you can see fall is definitely here the trees are starting to change and it's a really really nice trail to run um, now you see I'm angling uphill a little bit but around this bend it goes downhill and I'm gonna let off like a rocket when I get there because the finish line is right ahead whoo scenic part of the trail right here Oh, Christy and Kira come to my race, and my good friend Evan too, Veronica. It's good to see you guys always, every time. Oh, I was pulling some stupid tricks. I'll tell you guys a story real quick before we go in and eat our all-you-can-eat pancakes. Uh, so I start out, and it's a 5K and 10K race. I'm, I'm hauling it. I pull some Steve Prefontaine tricks, and that was stupid. You know, because he... He hauled out a little too fast in the Olympics in the 70s, and he finished out of the medals because of it. he didn't win. But uh, I noticed that these guys were going a little too fast. It's like, these guys are sure hauling it for 10K. Well, we get to the halfway point for, for the, the 5K turns around, and all those guys that were going so fast, they only had a mile and a half left to go. Here I am, not even half through my race. Police. But anyways, man, that's... I was getting worried. I was like, I'm going way too fast. My pace, I got to slow it down. But it's good training for that um, that half marathon that I'm doing. They took my chip, so they'll have the final times listed on the website here soon. You'll have to check out how I did. I'll send the link to you, Evan. You should. You're beyond tired. What are you doing here? What are you doing no. awake? The paranoia struck in. What time did you go to bed? Midnight. We watched The Conjuring and then we passed Yeah, that was a good movie. It was scary. <laughs> she said she was worried to fall asleep. Are you going to go see that prequel, Annabelle? No, I heard it sucks. Oh. Well, you heard that, but you you got to find sure. out for yourself. We'll probably rent it when it comes out. Uh, I got to I gotta see it. We don't tend to go see movies in the theater. Okay, pancake Pretty time. Good breakfast, but I'll tell you, man, my favorite part is the fresh apple cider. It's truly fall times. I haven't had it yet. With the, with the corn fields all around us. And it's too damn early. I children, coffee. Children of the corn. The fresh apple cider. That's Indiana times. What? Pretty good stuff. I feel like we should get your dad in a commercial and like the video blog for A plus. Why do you think that? I just feel like it would be a great thing. Are you gonna be weird? I'm, I'm always, always weird. weird. <laughs> what kind of question weird? is that? <laughs> are you, are you gonna, gonna be weird? Are you gonna be a freak? Yeah. Be weird. 
So we're finishing breakfast and I go up to the stage where they're reading off the times and the awards and everything and lo and behold I got first place in the 19 to 24 year old age group and I still have to look online to see what my uh, my my place overall was in the race. I think with all of the 5k people in front of me and then a few of the 10k that came in before me it was like 91st overall but that was the entire thing. I need to know what my place was in just the 10k division. So I'll be watching for that and I might even be able to include that in part of this video if they post it today. But uh, yeah, I'm heading in to work. We gotta get back fast. It's like a, what did you say, like 50 minutes to an hour? Yes. Home? Yeah. What? Which one? Because that's um, two different times. It, we will be there at 10.30, it's 9.40. What time did you say minutes. we'll get there? 10.34. Oh my gosh, I won't have any time for a shower. I'm gonna to have to go right to work. Oh, oh, it's gonna be a nasty, nasty thing. I'll have to bring <clears throat> some clothes so I can just change at work. But anyways, yeah, we've got some other races coming up. Next Saturday is the Ball State 5K. Are you going to that? Yes. Kira, you are not. Are, oh yeah, she is, because you've got her. You're coming next Saturday to the Ball State Parade and the Homecoming 5K. And then, that next weekend, I'm going down to Kentucky to see family. I'll take the video blog with me. You guys will see that. And then the, the Muncie Mini, which is a half marathon, October 25th. And then November 1st is the monumental half marathon. And that's the big one. That's the, that's the pinnacle. That's top of the year. It's the biggest event of my life. Yeah. I think, Kira, this might even be bigger than the day you were born. Oh, boy. I don't know. I mean, you tell me. I don't know. Is it, I know. Is it big? <laughs> Mom, here at work now. And interesting thing, I just got a package and I'm going to open this up. So it's like a little bit of an unboxing video. It's been a while since I've done one of these. And then this is the book that I'm reading with my award there. Nice little motivation thing. This book is amazing, guys. You need to read this. I'm about halfway, halfway through. Where am I at right now? Yeah, I got my YouTube card in the middle there, but great book. Let me open this because this is kind of, this is race related. I bought this in the hope that it would help me with the marathons coming up instead of wearing those headphones that come with the iPhone right there, the Apple headphones. I wanted to get something that would fit and be a little bit better for you know running. So these are the ones that I bought. Let's see what it's all about. They're Motorola, they're HD sound, and so as you can see, like it goes on the back of your neck. And I've I've read the reviews. Unfortunately, after I bought it, because I couldn't find them before, I didn't have a lot of time to look into it. I just it was an impulse buy because it was a really good discount, and I'm hoping that there was no serious reason for that discount. But <clears throat> from what I understand, people were saying that they're uncomfortable to wear. You can see them on that guy's neck. He said they're uncomfortable to wear that way, and one guy recommended turning them upside down and letting the headphones fall out of your ear. I really think that it's all based on head design. If you've got a badly shaped head, maybe these won't work for you, but hopefully they'll work for me. So I'm gonna try these out after I put this video down. And then that's that's that. So yeah, that little bit of a store update. We've got the coffee bar coming together, and then the office is now carpeted. So we've got a big conference table coming in. It's gonna be pretty amazing. Sit in here and do my studying and my scholarly scholarly studies. Uh, I found out that they don't have those results posted online. So I don't know that I will ever know where I was on place. I might check the runner ID, the road ID. It's the bag they gave. So the road ID bag here, I might check that out on the website, the roadid.com. But I, I've been on there before and I don't think they post the results. I think it's up to the organization to post those. And the Williamsburg thing, it, it, it's a big event as in there's a lot of people there, but it's a really small town. 
and it's like for a charity thing. It's not a big professional race. Now, I was impressed that they had the chips that you put on your shoe because a lot of, a lot of small town races don't do that. But that's it. Next Saturday, Ball State, Homecoming 5K. I'll take you guys there. That'll be the next video I do. See ya. Dream world. Dream world. They won't catch me in dream.